The Baku GP brought one of the most anticipated racing tensions that we could have witnessed throughout 2024, but a dark mark was left on it when Sainz and Perez crashed in the 50th lap of the race in what seemed to be nobody's fault. However, the consequences were felt the most by Red Bull, who've now lost the lead in the Constructors' Championship and Perez confidence, as this was supposed to be the first podium after quite some time for the Mexican driver. So you can imagine that he's quite furious towards signs as both Perez and Horner sent their fierce statements regarding the Spaniard's behavior. But how big are the consequences of it and what comes next after this crash. It's safe to say that Red Bull were the biggest losers in Baku because not only did Verstappen struggle to find any type of performance in the car, leading to the scenario of him finishing behind Norris, who started nine positions behind him, but also because of the fact that Perez didn't finish the race. The Mexican driver participated in a crash with Sainz after trying a move on Leclerc for P2, wanting to make the most out of what seemed to be his best weekend after Suzuka, but after being pushed a bit, Sainz used this to his own advantage and passed Perez. But the Spaniard did also try to make a move on his teammate before the entrance of turn two, which resulted in Perez obtaining the inside line in the straight that comes after this turn. While Sainz was following the slipstream from Leclerc, Perez was somewhere around the middle of the SF24 when it looked like the Ferrari driver had turned left in a bid to throw Perez off. But afterwards, when the onboard footage was obtained, it's pretty clear that the Spaniard kept his steering wheel straight. This is why he was very surprised as to what happened. And at the end of the day, the incident will likely go down as a racing one. But according to Perez and Horner, Sainz was the one to be blamed. The frustration from Perez was seen from the moment that the crash happened as he went on to Sainz's car and from what can be seen on the cameras gave him an aggressive tap on his head similar to what happened between Bottas and Russell back in Imola in 2021. When talking about the crash Sainz went on to say I was attacking Shah into turn two and then I exited turn two. Perez was on my left. We normally do a slight drift towards the left into the long straight which I did like every other lap and suddenly for some reason I don't understand stand, Checo and I collided, which is unfortunate and also very disappointing. We've spoken already, but we need to analyse. I'm not someone who wants to put blame on either an excuse or another driver. It's racing. Everything happens super fast. My feeling today is honestly, I did nothing wrong. I didn't do any erratic manoeuvre, put Perez against the wall or anything like that. We were just like every other lap, drifting a bit, a tiny, tiny little bit towards the left because that is where the racing line is and we just touched it is what it is it's safe to say that the Spaniard is the calmer one in this situation because if you were to listen to what Horner had to say about it then you'd understand why the Brit is very angry with how the race ended for Perez apart from the damage that the Mexican has inflicted on the car and the financial dent that will be required to fix it it's going to make a massive hole in the confidence of Perez who was on track to score a podium for the first time since Suzuka many were very critique oriented towards Sergio because of his bad performance but here in Baku he had the chance of helping his team as much as he could in the Constructors Championship so while we can't blame him for trying a move on Leclerc at the end of turn one and doing the exact same after exiting turn two with signs, maybe he could have waited for a better moment just so that he can clinch it safely. The Claire's rear tyres were gone and Sainz's crash has effectively helped him secure the second place because had Perez passed properly, it's a huge question mark as to whether or not Sainz would have played the team game and not attacked Leclerc in the penultimate lap of the race. When talking about the incident, here's what Horner had to say. A disappointing end to the race and a very unlucky one for Checo. He was in a position to win that race today and it is unfortunate that we weren't able to achieve that. It looked like Carlos drifted to the left-hand side of the track and there was contact, which caused a huge amount of damage. Importantly, both drivers are okay, but it has cost us crucial points for Checo and the Constructors' Championship, so we are very disappointed. With Max, he wasn't as happy with the setup of the car, so we will have to look into what the difference was there. After the pit stop, he ran into Lando and Alex, which was 
unlucky as it affected his race and his tyres started getting out of the window. For the constructors, it was obviously a big swing in the last three laps and we have lost out on some significant points. However, we will brush ourselves and fight hard. Honestly, the entire situation does look like a racing incident, although it was something that could have been avoided from both drivers, especially from Perez. He was not in the wrong to try and launch an attack there, but he was effectively out of the racing line and Sainz had the slipstream from Leclerc. So while it's hard to accept the reality that you've lost a position while trying to gain one, maybe it was the best thing to do and prepare an attack later on in the race. I'm not blaming Perez for what happened. I'm just stating that maybe he could have been a bit more rational with his choices and admit that his move on Leclerc didn't work and it cost him a position, which in the moment of the heated racing might not be the easiest thing to do. But what this crash has also brought is more financial burden for Red Bull, who are already struggling with bringing upgrades to the cars and were already planning to bring a flexible front wing in Austin, a path that Mercedes and McLaren paved for the rest of the grid. It looks like this particular upgrade won't be affected by Perry crash but by investing a lot of money in repairing the car rather than just investing in upgrades. Perez's place in Red Bull has gotten further endangered even though he did nothing wrong in Baku and made a serious statement about his competitiveness being brought back after the first five races of the season. Perez's view on the crash after the race was quite rational as he felt like Sainz tried to get the toe from Leclerc and that's why a slight movement to the left was made. Nevertheless the Mexican Mexican driver wasn't ahead of signs and that is something that adds a lot of value to this entire situation and when giving his honest thoughts about the crash Perez said I felt that exiting turn two there was plenty of room between both cars and within a meter or two we ended up making contact it's very unfortunate it all happened so quickly I think Carlos was trying to follow the toe from Shah as he went to the inside and that really made things really hard a huge positive for Perez from this weekend is that he's seemingly now back in contention because the pace looked quite promising from his end. Throughout the entirety of the weekend, he was looking more and more competitive than Max, who was in no man's land with the setup of his car. Although we know how much Perez loves Baku, the fact that he and Max are now very close in performance in the last couple of races goes to show that the car's regression has started to apply on Max's RB22 as the Dutchman was unable to extract any amount of performance from it on the streets of Baku. Be that as it may, Perez has now dropped to 8th in the Drivers' Championship after Russell inherited the podium place that was destined for either Perez or Sainz. But the number of points that these two drivers have is the same, so it's nothing that the Mexican driver can't fight back with in the remainder of the season. With all this in mind, who do you think was to blame for the crash between Perez and Sainz in Baku? Let us know down in the comments below.